In this video, we will show you, start to finish, the application of C8R red racing stripes on our new C8 Corvette. Stay for the end as my wife will go over all of the necessary tools to make the installation go smooth and easy. And finally, at the very, very end, some drone footage and some pictures of the car all finished and out in the sun. We're ready to put some stripes on and we just did the rubbing alcohol to make sure that the surface was nice and clear. And now we're getting ready to take one of the spacers because when you put this on, there's a spacer that goes right down the center of the hood. We're going to put that on first. We're going to put the hood stripe on first and then we'll go from there and do the rest of the striping. But we're ready to go. These are the spacers that are over here just so you see what they look like. And uh, this will help us get the center space that goes down the center of the car and then on either side will be the red stripe and on either side of the red stripe will be the black which I haven't got out here yet um, and this shows us all the information here's all the different parts of the hood we're going to do here's all the different parts of the stripe and here's all our directions so we're ready to go we we'll finally go. got our hood spacer on here's the hood spacer there it is going right down the front and Hopefully, we've got it down the center. We've measured on both sides. We've measured up here. It's a very tricky thing because the hood uh, points are a little tricky, but it looks like we've got it right dead center now. So we're very happy with this. And now we're going to apply, take this off and wet it down and put it back on the hood. Okay, what, what we did was we cut out just the spacer and it's written on here, hood middle spacer. And that doesn't matter because this is just going to hold, hold the center line. And the other thing we did to make it easy for ourselves is uh, we put masking tape with a mark here and it's very hard to see, but there's one up there. We shortened this, we cut this spacer uh, short enough so that we could measure and put a, a line center here and put a dot for the center there so we could line it up. Okay, we've got the hood on. Look at that. Not bad. I think it came out pretty nice. Now we've got to do the trim piece on the side. We're going to do that and we'll show you that when we get the trim piece ready and we have to fold out, fold these things under when they dry up a little bit. Oh boy, we get the spaces and the accent strip in. Here it is with the... So far, so good. We get the hood done. Ay ay ay. Uh, the critical part, I think, is getting that center, uh, that center strip correct. Once you get that correct, everything else seems to fall uh, into place. And uh, she's looking good. And here's the accent going along the outside. That's really fun to put in. <laughs> so, we're getting there. So here we are. We've got the the stripe is drying here in the front. We're just starting the first section of the roof and it looks like it lines up pretty good. So we're moving forward. So we've been working hard here in the front stripe and we got the roof on. Yes, we do. How do you do? We're just letting it dry now and I got a couple of spacers still on there. So we're waiting. Uh, we're working our way back front to back. but. Thought I'd show you the progress we've done today. Pretty, uh, we're about, I would say, a little over halfway done. And so we've had a pretty good day. And here it is. We finished the front uh, here that came out really nice. Um, and then we uh, put that first part of the top over. And then we got the top. I've taken it back over. We're making some of these uh, so they, they stick up in here. You have to push these up in here and they somehow stick. I Hopefully they will stick. And uh, that should look good. We might have to do a little extra work on that with a, with a uh, hair dryer, but um, we'll see. Today we thought we'd show you how we do one section. We've, as I mentioned earlier in the, in the video, we've done the front stripe and we've done this section right here in the roof and we did this big section here right here in the roof. And now we're going to do this little section here, then we do in this section in here, and then on the back deck, and we'll be done. 
So today um, we're going to show you how we prepare the roof for this section. The first thing I'm going to do is clean this with rubbing alcohol. We've already washed the car, by the way, with Dawn soap to get any wax that might be on here because you don't want any wax on here or this stuff won't stick. So anyway, I've wiped this with uh, rubbing alcohol and now we're going to measure from one side to the other and try to get the exact center. Or the other thing we could do is we could go off of this center strip right, this center section right here to find the center right down here so that the everything matches up. In fact, I, we just might do that. And uh, we have a spacer, a green spacer, over here. These are all our spacers, see them? And we've been using them. <laughs> These are the actual um, racing stripes, the racing stripes. And these black ones are the outer pieces, I'll show you. Uh, the black, see the black that's on here? That's the outer pieces. So we have the red stripe, the black stripe, and then we have the spaces that give us the space between each stripe. So, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we prepare the table over here. This is our, what we call our wet table. And we make sure that everything over here uh, is sprayed with soapy water. And that's um, the soapy water you use is uh, shampoo, baby shampoo. No, yeah, baby shampoo. And the baby shampoo is uh, very, very um, soft. And that's the, that's the stuff you should use. Mix it with water. And that's what I use for my spray bottle, which I can't find. It's around here somewhere. Patty, where's the spray bottle? Right over there by the chair. Oh, here it is. And so I keep, I keep, I keep the spray bottle right here, and this I can squirt this and get this all you know set up. So what I do is, I'm going to take a spacer, and the spacer I'm going to use is this one right here because we're going number three. This is the spacer for the center stripe, and here's the spaces, the other two spaces for the black stripe on either side. So what I'm gonna do is peel off the spacer, and what I do is when I peel it off, I peel it off like this, and I go right over here, and I put it upside down right on the uh, soapy water. And then I spray this area up here with soapy water, and then I take it over here and I take the um, spacer and I take it over here and I lay it right here. First thing I want to do is take my my soapy water and uh, get my hands a little bit wet and then I'm going to take the corner of this thing here right, this little guy right here and I'm going to peel this off I'm going to put it face down like this okay and then I'm going to spray it like that. Now I'm ready to put it on the hood, but I'm not really ready to put it on the hood because I have to go over and spray the hood too. Where the center strip's going to go, I'm just going to put some spray right there, okay? Because now, when I put this on here, it's still, it's on the soap and it will slide around and move around. So, now remember, I've got this upside down, so I'm going to take it like this and put it back right side up. Fortunately, there's a number here to tell me. <laughs> So, I'm going to put it over here, and hopefully I'm close to center, I'm not sure. So we're going to have to look. And I'm looking back here and I can see that uh, it looks pretty close. We might check it with the tape to make sure that it's center, but it looks pretty much center. Um, I don't know. So now we put the next two stripes on with the spacer in there and we eyeballed it back here. And by eye eyeballing it back here, we try to make sure that it lines up really nice and it does. We're back here in the garage, my wife and I working here. We finished. All right, so now we have some natural light. It's gonna look a little bit better. Although the red is kind of tough to see in the camera. I don't know, it's 
Cameras don't shoot red very well, unless you know what you're doing. We still have a little work to do up there. You have to peel the and plastic off. That's we have to peel, oh yeah, there's a little and plastic. And the red will look different. There's a little pa plastic film that comes on top of all this. And when I'm thoroughly done, then I can peel the plastic off. It's transparent plastic that protects it when you're blading it and, you know, running over it. So, um, anyway. Here's a view from looking at the car this way and going over the top and going down to the front. And there you go. Let's take another look from the top. There's my able assistant over there. There's a great deal of help. She was a whole lot of help for me. And uh, we worked together really well as a team on this so this came out really nice the car's a little dirty a lot of soapy water around but that won't hurt it so so we're really pleased anyway we're very very happy might put it out in the sun a little bit and let it enjoy itself it's freedom once we're done with the final little few tweaks we got to do we'll be all done so there you have it and that's uh vetstripes.com they're the people i bought this from and I'm really happy. These are the items that we found necessary to successfully put the stripe on the Corvette. The first thing you need is a very large table. You need to have your instructions handy. We use Dawn and to remove the wax from the car, followed up by rubbing alcohol with a lint-free cloth for the, the final cleaning. Uh, we used a flashlight to check for bubbles, uh, pens and scissors and measuring tape and ruler were used to find the center of the car. The uh, tape was especially handy since it could go over the angles in different shapes and contours on the hood. Scissors were also uh, used and we used a spray bottle with water and baby shampoo. The instructions on how to mix this were in with your other instructions. The X-Acto knife was used to lift the stripe off of it, its contact paper. Finally, the rubber blade was used to smooth down and squeegee the stripe.